Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome on in. Welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for The Sims 4 High School Years Expansion. If you have been here for a while, I'm glad you came on over for the ride. This feels like such a throwback. I feel like this is gonna be my generations, hopefully of The Sims 4. I know some of you might have already said I had my generations era of The Sims 4, maybe even with my base game family, but high school years, I can say I have put my whole plum bussy into this family, into this save file, and I just cannot wait to play and introduce this lot to you. The kids already have 110% of my undivided love and affection, so enough about me, enough of this introduction, let's get into it. So this is their house, yes, it's a classic blue suburb. It's made by Rachel Ped. I will actually leave all of Rachel's links down below. YouTube channel, Twitter, also you can find it on the gallery on Rachel's page. It's the Copperdale family home. Rachel was an angel and basically like asked me about my family because I was like, I need help building a home. I am stressed to the max. I could not do it to save my life. So big thank you, Rachel, for a uploading this house so that I could take it. I still did put my own spin on it. I did change up like a couple of the bedrooms just to like better represent my Sims personalities. But what me and Rachel have in common is the fact that we love a lived in house and we love it to feel cluttered. So this was like the perfect opportunity. I'm moving on to my Sims. I'm gonna let them live, you know? I'm not gonna control them anymore. First up, we have Jules Michaels. A AKA the eldest child of this family. This is Jules, I absolutely adore them. I think they are probably one of the coolest Sims I've actually ever made. They're currently just like bigging themselves up, working on their confidence in the mirror. Jules is into all sorts of things. Jules is very, very artistic. I would say a little bit of like a goth. Their favorite colors are green and black as I'm sure you can probably tell from their room. It looks kind of purple right now, but when it actually gets to evening, like this kind of lights up green with like their LED strips. So like I said, into all sorts of things, very, very creative, makeup, fashion, photography, also super into digital art. They are very, very into anime, like love watching anime. Kind of grew up on video games and then that sort of transferred into like anime once they found that. And yeah, they basically just want to express themselves through their art and what they wear. Definitely gonna get very invested in trendy, I am sure. <laughs> The second teen of the household. The middle child is Celeste. Celeste is all about music. Her favorite color is baby blue, if you couldn't tell, has so much blue in her room. Mama is currently sat down here playing video games on her old school PC. She's currently trying to save up for like a better PC. She does in fact have an Elgato stream deck, which means that she can actually use a DJ booth without having a DJ booth. Very, very handy for a sim who is very musically inclined. I forgot to tell you about Jules's traits, but she is actually socially awkward and she just like has her head in her music. All she wants to do is like stick her headphones on, not really be perceived by the world. Unlike her older sibling. So socially awkward and a music lover. Ooh, Jules is getting a call. Hi, I'm Ash and welcome to Copperdale. I'd love to give you advice about the cool things to do around here, like hitting up Plumbite Pier. Do you mind if I check in over the next few days to see how you're settling in? You know what? That's actually a blessing in disguise. Thank you very much, Ash, because we actually just moved here. Because we are starting a new school, we moved from San Myshuno, 
where Jules was like extremely popular, had a lot of friends, like got invited to all the party, hosted an awful lot of parties, and is very nervous about starting a new school. Doesn't know how the kids of Copperdale are really gonna react to them. I definitely feel like Jules could have an intimidating sort of personality or just like a look to them. Like I definitely feel like some teens could be like, oh my god, they are far too cool. I don't want to like be friends with this person. I do feel like that's like the air of confidence that Jules has about them. So we'll say it sounds good. I won't block this number for now. Ash, you are on thin ice. Jules is creative, also a party animal, so I did want to try and use teen traits like as much as possible. Like I said, they are extremely popular or were extremely popular in some my shoe know. Also relatable because they have the teen aspiration of wanting to be an admired icon. I mean, come on now. Look at this face as if you could imagine any other flipping future for this kid. But their mum has actually told them that they can go on over to Thrifty if they manage to get their homework done this morning. It is Sunday morning, well Sunday afternoon now, and Celeste is still in bed currently because she stayed up late working on her music, playing some guitar. I definitely actually forgot to put carpet down. Oh, Everyone's just, okay. <laughs> oh man, Naomi has definitely said, yeah, come work in your sister's room. We're gonna get her up. So Celeste, how about you wake up right now? I don't think we even have any food prepared, but we will, we'll just yeah. grab a quick meal. So we'll go for an acai bowl. Obviously I have slightly talked about their mum. This is Naomi Michaels, absolutely adore her. She is a freelance artist very like go with the flow as you can tell like she lets the kids sleep in she's kind of based on my mum I'm not gonna lie my mum has a theory that she didn't get to like sleep in when she was younger like her parents always wanted her like up and at it at like 7 a.m like even on the weekends like come on we're going to church we're doing this we're doing that um my mum I am one of seven kids by the way if you didn't know I am the baby of seven children and everyone says that by the time that my mum got to me she had like melted out so much and my mum was just like I'm just gonna let them sleep you know teenagers they need their sleep I'm not gonna like tell them that they can't w stay up and like work on their hobbies and so yeah she's just like a freelance painter she doesn't actually have an official career people just kind of see her work and like ask her to do commissions and stuff like that then we have their father Parker Michaels aka the reason that they moved here he was actually like an engineer for a number of years hence why like they have this incredible house and like the kids have a lot of like hobbies and stuff because their parents have always encouraged like as well as education extracurricular like they absolutely love their kids like having their own hobbies and they've always been like yep you know what you go for it like yes you should probably work for your money but we will help like put towards things obviously Jules has a digital sketch pad and they kind of helped out with that I mean the dad had a very 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 good job and he has actually just been headhunted by Foxbury Institute and so he is now actually a lecturer. He's the lead lecturer over at Foxbury on their engineering course. The relationship between him and Jules is a little bit strained because Jules is kind of like dad I can't believe you made us move here like what the heck this town is gonna be so boring like nobody cool lives here we move from an, a penthouse apartment in freaking Sam My Shoe know to like this rustic little blue suburban on the edge of a lake in the mountains like what the heck have you done but they are still like all a very like close-knit family it's just currently a little bit strained but their parents love each other like genuinely just like a picture perfect happy household and then where is Archie? <laughs> Archie, of course you're out here making friends with your sibling's head teacher. I would not expect anything less from you. Archie is the baby of the fam. We have that in common. Archie is just like social butterfly. Golden retriever energy in a child. His parents are just like, oh my God, we need to distract this kid. We need to give him like everything. Sports, games, TV shows, 
Chang to people, like, just get out his energy somehow. So he actually spends a lot of his time, as you can probably tell, like, across the road in the park. They're definitely not going to be able to use this. I removed this using tool. I don't know why it's back here. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this one. But I made this, like, little park using the tool mod. I actually haven't had anyone slide down here. Also, Jules actually did just finish their homework. So we will be going over to thrifty in a little bit archie can you run please dude like come on now i've just like explained to everyone that you have golden retriever energy and yet you're here just like taking your time he is obviously cheerful but who am i i'm not sure what i want to be when i grow up I literally, where is my, where is my notes? I don't know how these Sims are doing this, but like they are showing me every aspect of their personality that I intended for them to have. In my notes, it literally says, Jules, mad at dad for moving them out of the city, wants to make good impression on everyone at new school, which starts tomorrow, which is why I think they want to do a little bit of retail therapy because they're like, if I'm going into school, I want to look absolutely fucking hot for these people. Can't decide what they want to do. Makeup, fashion, photography, graphic design. Still got a little bit of music in there. Still plays a little bit of guitar. Basically plucks at their sister's guitar strings every so often when they get a little bit jealous that she has an awful lot of talent when it comes to music. How do I figure out myself? Pick something you like, no worries you've got time, or study for a high paying job. I honestly don't know who Jules is asking, but I don't think either of their parents would say study for a high paying job. Like yeah, both of them have pretty high paying jobs. Like the mum's a really good artist and like gets commissions and their dad is obviously a lead lecturer. But I definitely think that they'd encourage them to get into something they like or tell them that they've got time to decide like come on you're starting a new school you have all of these amazing hobbies that you're interested in but you have time to figure it out let's not stress about it yes Archie off you go Archie why don't you make some friends um why don't you try oh you're out here making a mess okay uh child can I Ugh. nope missed him Ugh. Nope, missed him. Ew. Oh my god, kid. Oh, there we go. Let's give a funny introduction <laughs> to this kid. Have you finished your homework? Yes, you have. Okay, both teenagers have finished their homework. So we are going to send them over to Thrifty. I know a couple of you might be saying like, Molly, this is a high school years let's play. Why haven't you started like whilst they're actually in school? I just wanted to use this opportunity in this like first episode to really like get to know the family. Like I feel like I've gone so deep with these Sims that I already love them that I really just want to like show off like all aspects of them. Oh, you haven't even got showered or anything yet. I hope you don't turn up in your pajamas or else Jules is going to be like, what the hell? This is not the energy we needed to bring to a brand new town, okay? Also, can I just say I'm very, very excited to witness Copperdale in the autumn. Obviously in the UK, like we start school in like September. Okay, nice. <laughs> she's got her headphones on. She's like, no, if we're going to Thrifty, I am blocking out the world. Please do not talk to me. I have like music bopping 24 seven in my brain. I started these in a new save and I fully forgot to put my Sims townies in it. So about trendy and fashion looks, Thrifty, go to Thrifty to hunt for your next fashion look. You can create fashion looks in Thrifty and sell them on Trendy. You can also buy other listings, hype them and sell those too. I definitely, like I said, think Jules is gonna be the one to get into this. Every fashion look belongs to a trend. Wearing and promoting the fashion look increases its hype level as well as making that trend more popular. Successfully hyping and selling fashion looks will gain followers. More followers increases your success when selling on trendy Why am I in three speed. All right, so um, you are not gonna cheer. You are gonna come order a drink. We will get a mango bubble tea. And then Jules, you are not gonna order some food. You're actually gonna come over and create a fashion look. We are gonna head into school 
wearing our thrifty made fit. I'm hoping that there's something a little bit rare. Guys, you know that feeling when you go like vintage shopping um, and you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. We have a goddamn boiler suit. I mean, this could be a vibe. I think we could actually make this like pretty decent with jewels. I think that they could add some like makeup, some accessories. Let's see if we have any tops. Ooh, we have this jumper as well, or like this. See the annoying thing about having like a sim who's like into dark colors, like a bit more gothic in their look is that it kind of like excludes quite a lot of these. <gasps> Stop, I absolutely love that jumper. Oh my goodness. And it is exclusive. I wish this came in lime green and black checks like this one, but instead of the white, it was lime green. If a custom content creator can make that, I might even have a go myself. Jules would literally be wearing that at like any given opportunity. Mm. Uh, maybe the orange skirt. Like we already have an orange skirt on and it kind of matches. The only annoying thing about these fits is that there's not a lot of accessories. Like where are the fishnets? It's not giving me any. It's not giving me the things that I need it to give. <laughs> I feel like these are a little bit dark for tights with like this fit. Like this is such a happy little house. Although it does look like he has a willy for a nose. Who is this by? Happy ex loco. I just wish that like all accessories were open to you when it comes to this. How about we uh, go for this? It's not the most iconic look I've ever seen. Jules will be a little bit disappointed with this, but maybe we can try and accessorize it. So let's go for some orange shades. Uh, hat options we have. Mm, again, we don't have like the best hat options. Does this come in an orange? <gasps> Are you kidding me? We don't have an orange hat? How? Screw it, we're going for it. This is gonna be kawaii. It's apparently a rocker style, which I don't know how. I would not anticipate this to be a rocker style. The loading screen literally just said, how's it going? And I thought it was a reference to Howl's Moving Castle, which by the way, I will hold my hands up and say, I've never seen. I'm sorry, I do actually wanna watch it. Trust me, I have only heard good things. I'm just not like a massive anime person, which I know like I definitely need to get into it. All right, Jules, you need to go use the bathroom. I kinda wanna talk about this guitar. Do you know like in Drake and Josh, I know we don't stand Drake, anymore but you know how they had that guitar that like Drake fawned after for years this is that guitar for Celeste it's a limited edition it's in her favorite color and she wants it it's so rare I think that the owner of Thrifty kind of knows that Celeste has her eye on it and I think she's like secretly like not selling it to anyone else because like she sees Celeste come in here every day after school and just stare at this guitar, which is quite nice because it actually it gives Celeste like something to work to. This is the owner of Thrifty, Eloise. I also changed the upstairs up here. So there's actually like a cheerleading mat. There's like a scout board. Um, there's like an old school TV, a like little cinema. I think Eloise like wants the teens to hang out here. It's trying to make it more of like a community center. Celeste actually doesn't mind coming to Thrifty with her older sibling because it means that she gets to actually play the drums. She doesn't have a drum kit in her house. The house is a little bit too small. So she unfortunately had to sell her drum kit because her parents were like, we're really sorry, buddy. But like, there is not gonna be room for that. It wasn't like the best drum kit. It was kind of just one that she like picked up like second or third hand. So basically she comes here to play the drums. Look at her go. I don't know why she has to put on makeup to play the drums, but she, she has to do that. It's her routine. <laughs> she doesn't like makeup at any other point in her life, only when she plays the drums. Jules, are you out here making some friends? Why don't you give a friendly introduction to Kaori? Brighten her day a little bit, be like, look, we're new in this town. Um, we are gonna complain about our parents cause my dad actually did make me pull up all of my relationships and everything like that. 
entrepreneur skill with Celeste. Okay. Oh, you have a captive audience, Celeste. Look at you go. Also, this is custom content, by the way. I'll leave a link to the drum set. It's basically um, like a Sims 3 set that's been taken and like revamped to the Sims 4. The animations are sick. I'm such a fan of this drum set. I'm really, really glad that we uh, managed to have it. I love a piano. Apparently it's like written as a piano in the game. So let's just ig ignore that. These Sims all have like skills, by the way. I wanted to like up their skill like a little bit. So she has like a little bit of DJ mixing, although she is still quite new to that. Oh, we're getting some tips too. Oh my word. Yes, absolutely killing it. Let's also give a friendly introduction to Morgan. Stop it. You did not put on this outfit. I know technically this is your cold weather outfit and you put it on to like not get cold, but that is hilarious because Morgan like is a little bit of a rebel. Oh, also, you are so cold, buddy. Go home, Archie. Why wouldn't you put your cold? Has he been sliding for all these hours since he's on like Fall Guys or something? This is what Archie is like though. He will play out until like he desperately has to go home, like either to wee or to do his homework. He still hasn't done his homework yet. The older two have. All right, Celeste, you know what? I feel bad, so I'm gonna let you get to like a level two in the drums and then we're gonna head home. Is that a deal? Okay, nice. <gasps> Should we give her a vibe check? Yeah, let's see what Morgan is all about. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Jules is part of the cool kids. I honestly like... I have no worries about this kid. Like, I think they are absolutely gonna smash it. Join a T-Pose challenge, make 10 teen friends, post on social, bunny. Oh, hey, um, can I actually add you on social, bunny? Is that okay? Add to contact list. Let's add our sister, of course. We'll also add... Morgan, and then we'll also add Kauri. Jules refuses to add their parents. Absolutely could not imagine it. Let's do a new post. Oh, we can't post about our new look that we just set up. Let's post about passion for partying. <laughs> passion for fashion. Yes. Jules is a brat stall. Um, let's do a energized narrative about partying. Partying is my vibe. There's chaos, freedom, even just the energy in the room is exhilarating. Calm down, you haven't even thrown a party since you were in flipping some mice, you know. Let's tag, mm, we're technically with Morgan, so let's tag Kauri and let's do a friendly message. So it's so nice seeing you, Kauri. Never failed to put a smile on my face. Um, Jules, do you think you could maybe be trying like a little bit too hard to make friends right now? I love how Eloise is out here just supporting Celeste. All right, there we go. We made a promise, Celeste. I said skill level two, and then we're gonna go back home. Archie still hasn't made it back home yet. <laughs> <laughs> Might have mad golden retriever energy, but it's in no rush. Literally no rush to get anywhere. No rush to like grow up. Wants to be a kid forever. Big Peter Pan vibes with little Archie. I'm trying to decide what like Archie is short for. I feel like he has a longer form name. The only name that I can think of that like begins with Archie is like Archibald or something like that. And I actually quite like that because his dad is bald. And so I feel like Archie would be like, I can't be called Archie Bald because that will upset dad's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he like chooses to go by Archie. Also, he like saw Jules pick their own name and stuff and was like, I want to be like my big sibling. I want to choose my name. And so he told his parents that he wanted to go by Archie, which I just think is the cutest little thing. But yeah, they also call Parker. His initial is obviously P. So they call him P-Head because he has such a tiny head. All the kids just like, 
fully in for it. I just love this family though. Oh my god, why? Naomi, no, stop that. Did you still not eat that acai bowl? Are you serious? We're actually gonna have Parker come and uh, we're gonna serve some dinner. We're gonna serve a chili for everyone. Hopefully there's not a fire. Yeah, go out there. Naomi, you are talented at many things. You are a creative sim, but my word, you are not talented at the violin. Also, she is also socially awkward. So I do feel like because she spends like so much at home, like with the kids, like I feel as if that's where Celeste has kind of like picked it up from a little bit. All right, Archie, I need you to do your homework, dude. Oh, just hanging out with his siblings whilst he's doing it. Stop. A lot of noteworthy things happened to Jules today. <clears throat> like me and my voice breaking. Oh, we got some reactions. Cute. I'm not gonna post about my homework. Absolutely not. That is not a way to make friends. Celeste doesn't really like post to social media all that much. Any like music that she puts out or anything like that, she tends to like do anonymously. Like I mean it when I say she is socially awkward and she doesn't really care for like people knowing her name or anything like that. Also, yes, Archie is in the scouts. Spray the monster under the bed? You got a monster under your bed? You've not even been to sleep. How do you know? This is great. This is a great start to the let's play. Sending our, okay, cool. The sink is not working. Um, Definitely gonna have to figure that out. But how about we go uh, grab a serving because we are all hungry. Actually, the parents aren't hungry. They've clearly eaten whilst they, oh no, don't clean it up. Don't clean it up. <laughs> grab a serving. I'm gonna need you to stop, Naomi. No, Parker, don't. Don't start, Parker. That is not your bed, that is your daughter's bed. If she sees you in there, she will actually cry. Yeah, dad's gonna go off to sleep. Um, has work at like 9 a.m. So it needs to get up like pretty early. Um, also hasn't written their scholarly paper. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, P-head. I'm gonna be calling him P-head an awful lot. I'm sorry if, I have a P-head, so I feel like I'm doing P-head representation. Like I said, I'm one of seven every Christmas. I don't know if anybody else's family does this, Probably not. Oh, bloody hell, Naomi. <laughs> I was like, why can't they use the bedroom? It's because she didn't put her freaking daughter's violin away. But yeah, I doubt anyone else's families do this, but my siblings literally every Christmas, because someone, someone always gets the measuring tape in their cracker, right? And obviously with like Christmas crackers, you get the little like paper party hats. Theirs all rip because they've got such big heads. And whenever anyone gets the tape measure, you know, that they are about to have a head size competition. So they all measure their heads even though they are all fully, well, we are all fully grown adults by now and our heads probably still aren't growing. Every year, they still have to measure their heads to see who has the biggest one. And I have the pea head. Every hat fits me. The little like paper hats literally like can slide down over my neck so I can start wearing them like necklaces. I would say they're jealous, but they actually pride themselves on having big heads. So that's not even accurate. Sorry, I do realize that that took me like 500 hours to tell that story and everyone has gone to sleep whilst I have been doing it. Feel like I missed some of like explaining who they are, but I'll quickly go through the traits before I end up this part. So uh, Parker is family oriented. Why are you? Uh, someone definitely turned on your like stereo. Yep, cool. Turn that off and go to sleep. I know you live and breathe and like think about music 24 seven, but maybe not whilst we're asleep, okay? Maybe not on our first night before we have a brand new school day the next day. So yeah, Parker's family oriented, ambitious, and also a genius and is definitely a quick learner. He wants to be a Renaissance sim, which makes sense. He's very, very smart. Naomi wants to be a painter extraordinaire. Obviously just like works from home, has like really, good relationships with like all of her kids. There is a little less friendship on Celeste, but only because she's like at home so often. And the mum absolutely loves music, but she hates like dance music. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Celeste has always got dance music on, like blasting electronica and like DJ music. So uh, she gets a little like high strung over that fact. So there's no like love loss between them. Like she loves all of her kids equally. I know you aren't gonna believe her when she says that, but she really, really does. And she loves that Celeste is so passionate about something. It's just like, sometimes it's a little bit grating on the ears. Celeste wants to be a musical genius. So Celeste actually doesn't have a teen aspiration, which means she's not relatable. And also with being socially awkward, I feel like that's really gonna have an effect on the relationships that she can make in high school. So we'll see how that goes. Archie, why are you not in bed? Did someone turn on your speaker too? No. Jules obviously wants to be admired icon, creative, party animal, and is relatable. So build friendly relationships with fellow teens faster. And then Archie is just cheerful for now. Like I said, like golden retriever energy. I also feel like their rooms like show them off perfectly. Um, Archie kind of has an interest in like everything, toys, like football, sports, video games, got like a lot of trophies from like swimming competitions and things like that, little Kellogg's badges, you know. Into void critters, so actually has the void critter tablet. His mum knitted this for him, so freaking cute. She's super into crocheting right now though. She went through a knitting phase, now she's into the crochet. Not the crochet, this cross stitch. We don't have crochet in the Sims. I know technically we have knitting though. I know they're not the same things, please don't come for me, knitting or crochet community. Oh yeah, this is what Jules's room looks like at night. I absolutely freaking love it. Uh, this is Celeste's room at night. Like I said, just like super all about the music and things like that. And then the parents is actually very calm. I feel like they have so much like chaos in their lives with three very exuberant, like personality focused kids that when they go to their bedroom, they're just like, we need peace. <laughs> we need calmness. Even though she is a painter who gets like very excited over her work, she's one of those like splash painters as well, which I love. Like she doesn't mind a mess, but she's like, no, I need to be able to switch off. I need some tranquility when I am sleeping. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up for the first part. I'm sorry, I feel like I did an awful lot of talking, but what can I say? These Sims have so much personality that it would have felt unjust for me to not talk about it and like run you through some things. I feel like it's gonna be a really good setup for this let's play. Like I said, I'm so excited for this. I know this was a long one. I promise not every episode is gonna be this long. I just had to get out all of my word vomit, but thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're as excited for this as I am. You can probably hear it in my voice how much I already like adore these Sims and I appreciate you all. And I will speak to you all in the next part in which the teens and Archie, Archie is also starting a new school, but he'll be fine. He'll fit right in. He'll be like teacher's pet. He's gonna be buzzing. The teens on the other hand with their personalities, we'll have to see how they get on, but I will speak to all them. Bye.